Um, first of all, I wouldn't want to say me I got like Dan Paro. So that's why I didn't want to say anything. I saw his video where he said he called me and I was kind of rude to him. I wasn't rude to him. The only thing that he said when he called me was he wants me not to reply Yomi Fabi. And I said, no, I will reply Yomi Fabi if he says anything wrong that I would reply him. I shouldn't be the one keeping quiet for Yomi Fabi because um, initially I didn't want to pick up a fight with him. But you can come on social media and come to my WhatsApp, say something, come on social media and say something and expect me to keep quiet. And moreover, it's not about Yomi Fabi and it's not about me. It's about that young girl, that 14 years old girl. It has nothing to do, but I will not keep quiet for Yomi Fabi. And he said, he doesn't want me to say anything again about uh, Baba Jisha's case. And I said, sir, maybe that's what got him upset or maybe in that way, you think maybe I sounded rude by saying, but daddy to buy Joe Moyenko, Shemani Kendakeni. And he said, ah, ah, ah. And he kept quiet for a while. And he now said, okay, oh, mommy, get me baba, mumpala shefwe. And I went mute. I kept quiet on the phone. And the phone went off, and I just left it there. So I was shocked when he said, I said, you should get down from the boss or get I don't even speak like that. I've never even said anything like that. That will never even cross my mind. And then he said I talked about um, not how well or, or not how far. I don't know where he got all that from. But me and him never had that kind of conversation. So I was so shocked when I saw that video. But I can't argue or fight with him. So uh, Papa T, I feel offended by the way I, because I know the only thing in Timoso or whatever I said was that Tuba Jomoyinko and the fact that he said I shouldn't say anything again and I said no, I refused. So, we are alone being, you know, sir, it might be, no. But I never caught the phone on you and I never said, I never said that.